Um, there's like a study, and I don't want to get it wrong, so I'm going to paraphrase it, but I know that you believe mm-hmm. your voice more so than anyone else. So being able mm. to say it out loud so that you can hear it, it's, it, 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 it changes the game. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the Relational Parenting Podcast. I'm Jennifer Hayes, a parent coach and 20-year child care veteran. Each week, I sit down with my own father, Rick Hayes, and discuss the complicated issues that parents face today, as well as some of the oldest questions in the book. From the latest research and the framework of my relational parenting method, we offer thought-provoking solutions to your deepest parenting struggles. Added bonuses include intergenerational wounding discussions and guest childcare experts. We will also start taking your parenting questions in episode five. So be sure to comment with your biggest questions or email me directly at Jenny at JennyB.co. Let's get started. All right, y'all, everybody strap in for this one. Megan is a force to be reckoned with. Our conversation was absolutely out of this world. There are so many golden nuggets. I literally clipped like every quote, um, every sentence from this episode and, um, a little bit about Megan. So she, Megan's passion for words drives her as a dynamic force in the creative speaking world, inspiring women and children to speak with intention and ignite their inner fire. Her acclaimed works such as the children's book, Words Are Magic and Culture Cards, demonstrate her dedication to spreading the magic of words to all. Despite her numerous professional roles, including as a writer, producer, TV host, and marketing director, Megan's favorite role is being a wife and mother. With a degree in journalism and an MBA, she is passionate about teaching children the power of words and empowering women to live fulfilling lives. Um, But just our last episode, episode 13, um, was just me and dad, and we had done a whole education series. Um, So it was our first episode that was like, just me and him after like six episodes or something, six or seven episodes. And I was just like, we're going to try something new and I'm going to hit record right now. And then it was like half of that episode was him like checking on me for like my post COVID stuff. And like, and it ended up actually relating to like some of the responses that I got online from that really angry post. that I posted. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Um, yeah, I was like, I was like, I was just so frustrated and so like just lost in like, the darkness. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. But I got like, like I literally had one, one or two that I've deleted because I purposefully did not want anyone to like feel bad after that episode came out. But um, I got a DM specifically that was like, keep your head up. You're going to be okay. Mm. Or something. It was it was very encouraging, but but simultaneously dismissive. Yeah. Um. So there was lot. So there which did like, not sit well with her. Sorry. And I was I was just like I was frustrated. When you say but, dismissive, um, what do you mean? Dismissive of my of how I was okay. feeling. Yeah. Of like of me being allowed to have negative yeah. feelings, you know. And have a moment of yeah. despair and frustration. Like, and so anyway, I I ranted about that a little bit and actually ended up, I was like, oh, this is actually what I do with relational parenting is I teach parents how to not be dismissive of yeah. their children's experience. Even if you, the experienced adult, are looking at a situation and it's like the blue cup, not mm-hmm. the green cup, it's not a big deal. But to your two-year-old, it's the worst thing Absolutely. that's ever happened to them. Yeah. I kind of know about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it ended up being, it ended up turning into an episode and I left it all together. And I was like, I, I texted my editor. I was like, I'm so sorry, but this is a two and a half hour episode. <laughs> and I only cut out about 30 wow. minutes of it. Um, so it's going to be a really long one. Oh um, my. <laughs> but it was actually, it was almost three hours. To, it was two hours and 51 minutes and I cut I got it down to a two hour episode. Oh my. I better go listen to that one. We were, we were pretty freewheeling on that one. We were, it was good though. We had, we made lots of good. I was about to say um, that's, that's when the magic picks in. It's like when you are just conversing and just, you know what I'm saying? Just living. So that's what I'm trying to do 
more of versus, you know, I'm, we just started in January, so I'm still brand new podcaster and I, you know, I'm still finding my groove and what I want the sound to be like and whatever. And so the last one, I was just like, we're just going to see what happens. I didn't pick a topic. I didn't pick anything. And then he asked me about that post and it just turned into its own its own topic. Yeah. I saw the post. I think I commented too. I was like sending you love or something. I can't remember, but yeah, you were very yeah, sweet. Yeah. I, I remember that. Um, I think sometimes it's like, I don't one, I'm terrible at social media Two, I rarely post negative mm-hmm. stuff. Um, it's usually like educational or like a picture of me and my husband doing something. Um, so I think when I posted that, some people were like, Oh, oh my God, she's a human. <laughs> right. How yeah. dare you? <laughs> yeah, I, it's... She's a human, but she doesn't show it very often. So are yeah. you okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's cool. Well, maybe that's my problem. Maybe that's the problem. I should be more, I need to be more, Transparent, um, maybe present. It's not. It's, I, it's yeah. nothing wrong with you, but that's not what you do on like Facebook. You know, know, Facebook is all smiles and sunshine, and rainbows and unicorns. I follow a lot of accounts though that have like really like the the purpose of their account is to bring forward the reality mm. of life, and I love those accounts. And I'm like, oh, maybe that's what I should I should stop being worried or whatever and just post whatever and the you know I want. the truth of the <laughs> matter is too people want authenticity like it's not all mm-hmm. about yeah. you know rainbows and unicorns actually last week i had posted um i can't remember exactly what it was but it was like some days i just want to quit you know and yes. there are yeah. there are certain yeah. things that i try to shift myself to remember uh one scripture that kept coming to my mind was like the race is not given to the swift or the strong but to the one who endures until the end mm. and so that was something that i, I saw that. yeah i just kept reminding myself but let's just be for real i was like yo it's so much easier sometimes it feels like to just forget it you know and i got dms yeah. too jen <laughs> where it was like are you okay <laughs> yeah i'm fine i'm just a human <laughs> You know, right? <laughs> so yeah. Like, do you not have bad days? You. Like, are you just wandering around suppressing everything? Yeah, and it's like, yo, let's. And they I are. think though, um, doing that helps others see. You know, I can relate to this because I did get some like that too. That was like, girl, I'm yeah. able to. You know, praying for you. Yes. We're in this together. It's just a beautiful thing. I say, keep posting whatever the heck you want to post. And, uh, I yeah. do too. Yeah. I think it's the evolution of social media. You know, every all the especially young kids. You know, they see everybody being perfect, and are why am mm-hmm. I not perfect? They don't mm-hmm. realize. But even if you realize, it's not necessarily healthy to only. You know, it's like uh, like going to church and everybody's everybody's putting you all dressed up yeah. and got their best face on. And and when you look at people and they're not looking, they're like yeah, crying yeah. and or broken. Yeah, right. yeah. You know, it's like. You know, yeah. just let me know and we can talk and let's be human beings. And it's so if a little bit of authenticity gets inserted into social media, that's not I a bad agree. thing. That's a thousand that's, percent. That's an evolution. Absolutely. You know, in the right Absolutely. direction. So the other thing that we did on the last episode was I just kind of on a whim announced that we were going to start a Patreon and a membership I'm looking at doing a membership um, instead a of... Be yeah. Yeah. Um, so so far, my dad is our only Patreon supporter. <laughs> oh, am I the only one so far? Okay. Yeah, but that's okay. Um, I yeah, that, that means I'm your founding. You know, I'm like a like what do they call it? Are. I'm the first Solid one in the rock. pool. That's yeah. I'm the founder. Yeah. You know. Um, but I, but with the Patreon thing, I was like, maybe we like we'll start doing a bloopers reel or whatever. You know, because like there's different tiers and. You know, the first tier is like you get a shout out, second tier. I was like, I don't know what we're going to do yet, but maybe like a bloopers reel, maybe start like sending out some relational parenting merch. Like, I don't know. But um, it's just funny that we have on here. You're like, do a bloopers reel. Yeah, confirmation. (laughs) Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So great. Well, okay, Megan, welcome to the podcast. We can, we can dive in, um, we, like, 
I never know how to start these things. I did. I got to read the PDF today um, of your yeah. book, Words awesome. Are Magic. So you are a children's book yeah. author, which is like, and this book was when you and I talked on the phone, like what, a month or two ago mm-hmm. now. Um, and you told me about that and you told me about the the inspiration behind the book. I was just like tapping my fingers just waiting and then you and I pre-ordered and I was like get it and then I asked you I was like is it gonna be here before and you're like no but I'll send you the I'll send you the pdf yeah. so you can read it before and I did and it's so good and it's Thank the you. artwork yeah is so beautiful isn't it oh my gosh <laughs> everything so I'm glad that you asked the individual that did the in, uh, illustrations she wants to remain anonymous so what we did, right, oh. adds another element there. So what we did was uh-huh. um, just put it under right publishing house illustrations, and we put that inside the beginning piece of it since it's an employee of. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I see. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. her work is gorgeous. Thank you. Um, so tell, tell us, tell everyone what... All the things that you do, because you do so many beautiful things, um, and how you came to be a children's book author. Yeah, absolutely. So you're right. I I wear a lot of hats. So uh, the most important hat I wear, I'm a wife and I'm a mommy of two little boys. I call them world changers, Ellis and Ezra. Ellis is three. Ezra is one. Ezra just started walking and my nerves are all over the map. Okay. Uh, Trying to keep up with those two. Yeah. It is two walkers. It's much simpler when they're not oh mobile. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like, you know, you, you Wait. say, Oh, I want him to walk. I w-. And then one said, Oh my gosh, it's something to behold. So You're like, quit touching everything. Wait. <laughs> Wait till they climb. Wait till they can we're scale there. the counter and the yeah. shelves. We're and there. The little yes. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah. something else. So it's that's, amazing. that is my greatest um, hat that I wear, a uh, greatest title. Um, <laughs> I am also a um, author. As you mentioned, I'll share a little bit more about that. Uh, I am an entrepreneur. My husband and I have a children's clothing brand called Kid Clothier, um, where that focuses on the importance of building self-confidence from the inside out. So not just about what you wear, like, yeah, that's cool. We do want it to look good, and but it's about feeling good, too. So every element yeah. of my life and my world is really geared towards um, empowerment of children and just teaching. Like, for real, you really do have everything you need inside of you. You know, I know that looking cool yeah. is the thing and we want to look cool, but you're cool because you're you. You know what I mean? And that sounds so like cliche, but it, it's legit. You know, there is no one else on this yeah. planet that has your DNA. You know what I mean? And so yes. um, that is really the premise of who I am. And of course, I was talking about the the book, Words Are Magic, that. I always, I had told you, Jen, it was like a God thing. You know, I was pregnant with my son um, and Papa Rick, you don't know this. I was pregnant with my son and we were flying back from Europe and I woke up and like, you know, when you're pregnant, you just, you sleep all the time and the sleep is deep. Okay. (laughs) So I woke up from a deep sleep and I just felt like this heavy thing on me that was like the power of word the power of words and I'm like okay what about it you know what I mean so I took it and wrote it in my note section and um really didn't think a whole lot about it uh that was 2019 ended up of course having Ellis my oldest son 2020 hit and y'all know uh it went just psychotic um you know Kobe Bryant died and that was when I realized um I I was going through postpartum right so when mm. Kobe Bryant died, I was a big fan of Kobe, but you would have thought it was like my brother, my cousin. Like it was, I was mm. just grieving really, really bad. And my husband, it was a heart. It, it was, was so bad. It was so oh bad. God. But I didn't realize awesome. that you know this was also postpartum. You know what I'm saying? So it was a whole lot at one time. And my husband was like, "Remember, you said you were going to write a book. You know, why don't you write the book?" And I thought, okay, that'll, you, you know, give me something else to do. And then the George Floyd thing hit, Breonna Taylor. Like, it just kept getting everything yes. that year. 
perfect the storm perfect. of timing and circumstances. Oh my God. Like you yeah. can't even yeah. write. Like it's it's nuts. I'll say this: Ellis's baby book is like a historical document of the anything crazy <laughs> that could have happened. Okay, just oh nuts. Every time I would go back to the book, I'm like, this is crazy. See, this is nuts, right? You know? That's why you can never prepare for life, is because it, it just, just happens. happens. You know? yeah. And there's no, there's no getting oh ready. Oh my for gosh! Things. In 2020 just, was just you know, whatever. Okay, so anyway, I'm going through. I'm trying to figure out what am I going <laughs> to write. And this phrase came to me, and it was, "Say what you have, and you'll have what you say. You have just what you need to find your way." And I thought, "Oh, yeah. that's catchy." So I wrote it down. And I couldn't. <laughs> I wrote it down too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we got to talk about this. Yeah, it, it, it was so catchy. And y'all, I tried so hard to, to come up with the rest of the book after that, right? Because I was like, oh, I got that. Let's yeah. go, let's go. I knew that he was Where's going to go to sleep and wake up in the middle of nowhere, right? And so mm, I'm like, okay. I know that he needs to use the power of his words to get back home. I just, it wasn't piecing together. So I left it. I was like, whatever, you know, this, it'll come back to me when the time is right. A year went by. Um, What was that? 2020. We were in 2021. The end started writing a little bit again, got the beginning half, stopped writing again, because if it wasn't flowing, I didn't want to force it. So I was like, you know, it'll, I'm the same way. Yeah, It'll come. Um, 2022 rolls around and I'm talking to my brother And um, he was like, you know, you had mentioned a children's book. And I said, yeah, you know, and I I told him the phrase, say what you have, you'll have what you say. And he was like, yo, that's good. And I said, it is pretty good, huh? And he's like, you got to finish it. (laughs) And so, y'all, I kid you not. So I live in Fort Worth. Dallas is about an hour drive on the way to a party headed to Dallas. I was like, all right, Lord, let's write the book, right? I get my little notepad out. And my fingers are going and it's flowing out of me. And so we get to Dallas and I said, Adam, which is my husband, I said, I wrote the book. And he's like, girl, you ain't write no book in an hour. Like there ain't no way. <laughs> and I was like, no, for real. That's yes. I was like, a lot of oh stuff God. happens it does. that it way. It blows out of you. And I was like, I'm for real. I wrote the book. And so he's like, all right, you know, we go to the party. I'm yeah. like beaming because I'm like, yo, it's done. It's done. And yeah. um, you're like glowing. Yes. <laughs> no one knows. It was like, I just birthed birth. something. Just birth <laughs> that's exactly it. it. I just gave birth. Oh, you gotta go yeah, that. that's so funny because that's exactly how it was. And um, I knew the test would be sharing it with my girlfriend, Tanisha, who is mm. she's an SVP at a corporate org at the time. Now she's doing her own thing. I mean, she's just a boss. Right. And she's so intentional and honest. And so I was like, I'm going to let Tanisha read this. And she's just, you know, she's going to tell me if it's, if it's okay, or you need to do this. And she read it and she called me she was like, Megan, you got to do it. You got to get it out. You got to get the right artists. You got to get the right promotions. Like you got to go full fledged with this. And so um, between her and my family, you know, you need good people around you. That's going to be honest Mm -hmm. and be like, girl, no, this ain't good. Or, yo, you got something. And it was one of those. And um, yeah, we, we got going and Jen, you and I talked and I was like, let's let's do it you know let's go and by the way you were one of the first to buy the book so shout out to you yes i think you were number two i was like come on jennifer (laughs) i saw the post and i was like (laughs) yes so yeah yeah that's how i came to be oh yay well congratulations first of all it's so exciting i appreciate it and it's also so you're like, busy. Like birthing something, writing something like that. And then like you waited, you waited, you had this like two year, like, like just surrendering, yeah. you know, to the right time. And then you're like, all right, I'm ready. And then in an hour, it was just boom, boom. it was down. And then you walk into this party and it's one thing to be, to like feel all that joy and excitement of like, I just created this yeah. thing that I've been wanting to create. And it's a whole other ball game to actually show yeah. it to someone yeah. else, no matter how like trusted or it's loved. So or, <laughs> and so to put it out in the world and, and then there's, I mean, I don't even want to like, I don't have the brain space to ever dive into 
what it takes to actually get something published yeah. too. Yeah. Cause then there's, oh, yeah. there's there grit. Yeah. yeah. So I'm yeah. glad you brought that up. Like that. even to that piece. So my brother and I own a publishing company. That's another hat, uh, which is called right publishing house. And so okay. we <laughs> were going back and forth and doing the, you know, making sure that the print looked like top tier, right? Because the artwork yeah. is so beautiful and I didn't want it to get lost in, yeah. you know, just the regular mundane looking type of printing. So, I mean, even to that yeah. piece, but it's it's grown so many legs, y'all, from cells in China, West um, Africa, uh, the UK. We've gotten, I got a DM the other day where someone, a psychologist, she's like, hey, one of my clients, um, they're having a youth camp and they are, there's 2000 kids. We want to, to buy your book. And is there a way you can come and do an author reading? Like it's blowing up right before my eyes. Wow. And I know though, it's, it's the message, the power of language. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's so important yeah. to be intentional with your words and to teach these babies while they're young. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like the part of the book. I mean, the, 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 the child wakes up and he's alone. Yeah. And depending upon what's mm. within, right? And you got to reach in stuff that parents have, you know, how, the influence of the parents prior yes. to that happening to him. It's yes. so important, yes. right? You know, yeah, it's a great, and that that kind of story I would think would, would translate into all I kinds of stuff. I love that you said that, Papa Rick, because I didn't even like actually zone into that piece but it's it's so yeah i mean you're your dad so of absolutely you know what i'm saying but that's just what it's, struck me it's so it. true because it gives the um ownership to parents to ensure that hey yes. this is intentional parenting here you know we yes. are yes. creating yeah. the next generation what is it that we want yes. our babies to be around what is it that we want them to see we want them to fulfill whatever it is they were created to yeah. be you know and you've got to be intentional yeah. so i love that you said that yeah yeah traditional parenting you know the dad the dad role is about provision and and preparation you know i want to make you yeah. rugged and and so, you know, be, be competent at things. And so that, I mean, that's, that's just what jumped out at me that. at that is, Hey, that kid, that kid got thrown into the dark alone and he yeah. was okay. You oh, know, I love that. for what you need and you, you're fine. That's you so know? good. That's, that's a perfect S so story. Good. Thank yeah. you very much. You yeah. got, you got. That's a huge, that's a huge message in this book that like, it's, the a big message is that like he uses his words to to find his yeah. way home right Manifest to create his reality yeah. so there's these so there's um whether you call it prayer or manifestation or um affirmations like there's lots of things to call it but he, but basically mm -hmm. create like taking that power trusting yourself and creating your reality um, and, but then there, it does, it puts the onus back on parents. And that's also something that we talk about in relational yeah. parenting that's right. that, which is part of why I was so excited for this book. Cause I was like, we are so yeah. aligned, um, is that your voice, the parent, your voice literally becomes your child's mm. inner voice and how they yeah. talk to themselves and the stories yeah. that they believe about yeah. themselves. And so, throughout this book, he, the, the little boy is remembering words that have been spoken yeah. to him. And yeah. that is what gives him the inner yes. strength. And he goes, Oh yeah, I can That's, do that. Oh yeah. I do have that. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And then to that point, I think I love it. Uh, what I love as well is as he is saying these things, you've got the parents voice that's reiterating that's right baby you can do it that's right you know you use your mind mm -hmm. and you know yeah. just to give that additional um Jenny just what you were saying like the relational parenting piece when you and I talked I was like 
you mm-hmm. know, and I'm going to say it again. I'm like, this podcast is going to go far. Like it really is. You know, uh, the Bible talks mm-hmm. about don't despise small beginnings, you know, cause that's just what it is. It's the beginning, right. but it, it's going to go far yeah. in that. Um, there are parents like myself, uh, like you, Papa Rick, there are parents that, um, believe in you, Jenny, who even stepped out on faith to say, you know, I'm going to do this podcast because I believe that there is a message that must go forth with relational parenting. And I just, I'm, I'm so passionate when it comes to um, what what we speak, how we parent, what we do, because it's it makes a huge impact on not just your child, but the other children out there. You know, we don't live in a bubble. You know, yeah. so they're going right. to be out there with other children. And so, um, yeah, That's I think right. just right. being intentional, it's just so important. And um, remembering that that our babies are a gift, you know, they're they're a gift. Yeah. 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 And it's our, and a responsibility, too. It's our job. They've been placed with us to prepare yeah. them for their future, you know, for the first few years. Mm-hmm. And. Yeah, it goes both. It goes both ways. Uh, one of the last two podcasts we did, we were kind of talking about yeah. the mission, you know, and how it's you know it's uh, it's not about us. It's about it's about serving yeah. a purpose. It's about let's get the word out there along with other people. I think that's happening more and more. The part of that authenticity in social media Absolutely. thing, you know, it's not just uh, not just being influencers and you know look at the jeans yes. I'm wearing, but. Yes, Papa Rick, you are yeah. really cool. I like you. Yeah. I want to hang out with Papa Rick. <laughs> you too. Let's go have a beer. Let's go. This is all okay. over. It's too bad. It's too bad we're everywhere yeah. in the world talking yeah. to each other. Okay, you but know? you're in Fort Worth. You're in Fort Worth. My brother is in yeah. the Dallas okay. area towards Fort Dallas. Worth. Nice. Forney. Yeah, I know where that is. Okay, Forney. Forney. Uh-huh. So, like, we could legit meet up sometime because yeah, we're down. I mean, I'm down there like once cool. a year, Let but like, know. I could totally hit you up and be like, we can go get Let's coffee. I can meet oh, your kids. Man. I just remembered yeah. something. The ch- the illustration of the child in the book looks just like your yeah. oldest. I'm oh, assuming that's really? not an accident. I wonder yeah. if they were the model when I saw yeah, yeah, little Ellis. So, so cute. It's so funny because yeah. I was going back and forth if I wanted to do that because I didn't want people to get hung up on like, oh, it's a story about Ellis, you know? And I'm like, no, not really. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, like the premise, I took Ellis because I wanted to be able to one, let my son see himself. So like I have the book here and I, the, so the yeah, first time I read it to Ellis, off. yeah, look. So the first time I read it to Ellis, I said, slide um, it, you know, slide it to your can you see it? left, left, your yeah. other way. Sorry, I don't know. Can y'all see it? There it is. Unless your video is flipped yes. out. <laughs> I'm still getting yeah. the hang of that. That's Thank gorgeous. you so much. So I had gorgeous. shown it to um, Ellis, and I was like, we're going to read a book. And um, I said, who is that? He said, that's Ellis. And I said, that is? That's that's Ellis. Mm. But the, the funny thing is, is as I was showing it even at uh, the different like places that I go to read, the kids see themselves. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's me. Or yes. that, you know what I mean? So it's yes. not even necessarily like, oh, that's specifically Ellis. That is your child. That is the white yeah. child, the yeah. Hispanic child. That is the Asian child. That is just a... Yes. Um, you know, it's just an image to show. This is every child. You know what I mean? This is a yes. real child. So yeah, it doesn't. Yes. It doesn't. It's not a character caricature That's of a it. kid. It looks like a real this somebody's child. This is a child. real it's baby, like, and it's your baby. It's any yeah. parent who um, has a child who you know they want to mm-hmm. teach, which hopefully every child. I mean, every parent wants to be able to just instill that in them to say, hey, you know, every single thing that you need is inside of you. So yeah. Yeah. Yes. How did you, um, let's see, what is the question I want to ask here? How, so have you always believed in the power of words or was it something that you sort of like healed into Ooh. or discovered as an adult. Oh my gosh. That wow, healed into. Mm. Oh, ooh, that mm. was good. Yeah. Right? 
Right? Um, <laughs> speaking from experience, because yeah, that is so I, good. I healed into a lot yeah. of my beliefs. Something you healed <laughs> into. I, I do like too. I'm going to take that too. I'll give you credit though. <laughs> thank you. But, thank um, you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to say healed into. So yeah. my, both of my parents are pastors, they're ministers and mm-hmm. they oh, are the type that live what they preach. They don't, you know, get on the pulpit and and say (laughs) one thing, but then come home and live another. So I was very uh, uh, privileged because I I saw that that wasn't always the case. You know what I mean? And so I was privileged to have parents who did speak life into us and they were intentional. Um, You know, they, we never got called stupid, shut up, none of that. You know, they were just very loving. And so, but I still didn't learn that intentionality of, you know, watching mm. what I say, you know, because I would still mm. say any kind of thing and and move on, you know. And it wasn't until yeah. college that I was in one of the darkest places in my life. And my mentor at the time, she has since uh, passed. She's passed away now. But my mentor at the time, mm. she uh, started talking to me about my language And she was like, everything you just said was negative, everything. And she's like, I'm not telling you that in a judgy way. I'm telling you that because you're living what you're saying, you know? Just an observation. And I remember when she said it, it, first of all, I didn't even notice because I was just so used to humdrum, you know? And she put me on this exercise where she's like, I want you to speak positively for the next seven days because we would meet weekly. And she's like, only speak life. And that's what she would call it, only speak life. And when I tell y'all it was so hard, like, it was was so difficult. Yes. Yeah. Um, Yeah. But it was the best, like, exercise I could have ever done because there is a mindset shift that happens when you yeah. begin, and I like to say speak life, when you begin mm-hmm. to speak positive and speak life, there's a mindset shift. And as I began to speak life, and I would actually intentionally take the word of God and say what he says to help me see who mm-hmm. I am. And that's why I love that that's you said right. healing. That's yeah. Right. And it, it, yeah, it just slowly became who I was. And now I can hear uh, I, I can hear, you know, uh, negative talk quickly. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's to the point. It, it does. Out. It does so much. It does. Great. It's like, oh, oh that it does. Hurts, you know? It does. It really yeah. does. And so you're like, yeah. ooh, ooh, don't say that. Ooh, don't say that. So, yeah, it's it was. A My hell. husband's going to look sideways at me when <laughs> he hears this one because or roll his eyes in the car while he's listening to it, because I will catch him. I've done it our whole relationship since the beginning is that I'm like, wow, like you need to stop speaking mm. because everything coming out of your mouth right now is just like, you're just spiraling mm. downwards. And, yeah. and it went from that to like, I'll, uh, you know, he's, he's done so much work before we were ever together. And then we've done so much work yeah. together, but I will, I will, I would stop him and be like, stop right now and say three positive things about that. yourself. There you go. Cause he would always like, he would say self deprecating things, mm-hmm. et cetera. Um, and he'll catch me every once in a while now too. Yeah. Uh, sure. Like if, if I'm really <laughs> in a bad place, it'll like Good. come out and he'll be like, say three nice things about yourself yeah. right now. <laughs> go ahead, hubby. Yeah. And I'm like, you. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, right. once you do, once you do that work and you, you become so aware and I think sensitive yeah. to it, yeah. it's, it's like, whoa, yeah. hold, like whew, we are not letting that into it's, our it's lives. It's so real. Yeah. And you know what, to that point, The question that I always like to ask, especially parents, is, you know, imagine what your life would be now if you learned the power of your words as a child. Like, if if three, five-year-old me would have learned this, oh, my God, again, I'm 35 years old. I would have been so far ahead. Now, thank God for grace, and I'm doing pretty good, but I know that it would have been leaps and bounds. You know what I mean? And so that's why— 
this relational parenting. That's why it's so important to like do this yeah. while they're young, yeah. you know? You, you do it, you do it when they're young and then you get like interest or, you know, it builds up and, oh gosh. And, and that's such, it's such, uh, I think, you know, a, a yeah. carrot for parents to know that, you know, if you do this and you have to master yes. yourself, Jenny talks about self-regulation and stuff, you know, mm-hmm. not everybody's prepared when at the point when they have a baby yeah. to do that. But if you work on it, you'll get better. Your babies yeah. will get better and get better and everybody will be better down Absolutely. the road for it. Yeah. You know, it's like, Hey, I got, and it, and it gets to the, you know, again, not, not to being about you, but being serving yeah. a purpose, doing, being, you uh, know, it's, it's like, okay, we're making the world a better place here or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, it's just, it's just super important. And it's not, it's one of those things I said this earlier this morning. It's it's one of those things that's really pretty simple. You know, it's easy to talk about. It's a mm, little harder to execute. Part, that part. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Especially if, with with that self work that has to happen before. Yeah. And that's on the last episode we were talking about, oh, well, we could just go into schools and teach this to children. I'm like, no, no, the parents have, have to, to do, do it, it because the children are going to do what the parents yeah. do. Yeah. So the parents have to heal. The parents have to look inside and evaluate and, and look at their yeah. wounds and look at their childhood and yeah. look, really get honest about what they're putting out into their children's lives and minds. And it's a direct reflection of how they talk to yeah. themselves. Um, right. and so there's like a, there's a reparenting that has to occur, mm, that's good. um, wh- as, as you step into being a relational parent for your yeah. children. Um, and like you were saying, Megan, you like the children, children who imagine where we would be yeah. if we grew up with these, with these positive life affirming, oh, wow. um, phrases and practices from the time we yeah. were tiny and like your, it's so hard to like imagine that, but it's like, I, like, I know I would be leaps and bounds ahead, right? Our kids, the kids who are being parented this way yeah. right now, your children right now, they're not even going to know that there was ever a world where this wasn't Come the on. norm. That's what I'm talking they're, about. They are going to walk out. They are going to graduate into the world mm. as literal like glowing beams yes. of light yes and it's so real right. like yep. that is that is so Ugh. real like to the point and I love that you said that because that is a conversation I have with my husband I I, I, I would tell him yeah. I want my boys to when someone says they can't do something they're confused like wait what who can't, you know, I'm I, like, what are you talking right. about? Of course you can. Like, what, what do you mean? And not that pie in, <laughs> yeah, that not even yeah. that pie in the sky of like, you can do anything. Cause we were all taught that. And then, you know, life was like, eh, you know, but, right. <laughs> but that, that, right. that honest, um, self-assurance of like, you know, yeah. even if like, and, and there's an example in the book where, and I don't tell all the book, yeah. but where he's like, you know, I know right? we're, we're just read the book. No. <laughs> yeah. You know, without telling all of it, there are, there are times where we are hoping or saying things that may not come the way we think they should or or as quickly, but it goes back to Papa Rick. What he was saying is that it's inside of you. Like it, it, everything is still inside of you. Um, I, I, I want to just really fast, uh, Jenny, talk about what you had just said in regards to parents having to do the work. That is so yeah. real. And I think yes. that we as parents have forgotten our main responsibility and you have to do mm-hmm. the work in order to do the work on your child. Cause they see you and they're going to emulate what they see. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. And so yep. I love that. And even Papa Rick, when you were talking about uh, before having kids, you may not know what that looks like. And I remember when I got yeah. pregnant with Ellis, I was, you know, I, I, I was pretty decent. Being a parent just makes you a better person, period. But yeah. right. if, if you're, you're working, working at it, at, if you're yeah. doing it right. And yeah. I remember <laughs> being pregnant and I would pace the baby room and I would just pray and I would mm. put my hand on my belly mm. and I would say, Lord, I thank you for this world changer. Uh, I thank you that mm. at a young age you will fulfill and show him what his purpose is in life. Like I just yeah. started doing that more so for me 
than even him. I was like, I'm going to train myself to see this baby this way so that when he comes, it's second nature to speak life and second nature to do a mindset shift. But it was working on myself as well, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And practicing saying those things out loud for me, like we grew up, I grew up in a, we had Methodist ministers on my mom's side. And so we like, you know, we went to church and, and I went to church camps. And so there was like, I was well versed in prayer, but I never, I was never the one, like it terrified me to pray Mm. out loud. And to this day, I am still, I'm an extremely internal person. Um, and so like this podcast has been a wicked practice it. in putting myself yeah. out there. <laughs> but like even inside intimate relationships, I think things and I feel things in my body and I, but I, I fail to express mm-hmm. them out loud sometimes. And I, so it feels silly to me sometimes to do affirmations out loud or to speak yeah. words out loud, like very intentional words. It feels, it can feel really silly, but when I yep. do it, yeah. it's, it's so powerful. And anytime I've ever had someone pray over me, um, you know, or pray for me or whatever it was, um, like I just, I just, it's like, I can feel I can feel the atoms yeah, in my body reacting to the words and I like I tingle and I cry yeah. and I'm feel the, it's feel so the spirit powerful. Yeah. It literally changes your DNA. Like they've shown like with water droplets yes. that different sounds, different frequencies and beats will change the physical compound yep. of yep. water. I did. I saw that into study. different designs. That is amazing. And our bodies are like seventy five percent water. So what is it you think you're doing when you're listening to certain kinds of music or watching you certain kinds preach, of music Jen. or <laughs> skipping <laughs> rocks on a yes. farm? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, I love it's life, and I love what you were saying about hearing yourself say it because I think that's really mm-hmm. important as well. Um, you know, as part of actually words or magic, we have a deck of cards there that we call them culture cards. Yes. Yeah. And we call them culture cards because I believe in changing the culture affirmations are good, but I'm like, we're going to do an entire culture shift. So we call them culture cards, but in those cards, they are affirmations, but it's not just about reading them. It's getting your child to say them and to hear them. Um, yes. There's like a study yep. and I don't want to get it wrong. So I'm going to paraphrase it, but I know that you believe mm-hmm. your voice more so than anyone else. So being able mm. to say it out loud so that you can hear it, Ooh. it's, it, 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 it changes the game. You know what I'm saying? You're t- and, yeah. it, and it doesn't sound exactly. It's not, it's not like, I heard this and I'm just repeating it yeah. and I'm doing it, but I don't really understand why. It's like, yeah. oh, I yes. get this. And it, it, it's so real. Let the spirit. It, it's so real. And yeah. I do that often. I do it with scripture. I do it with culture cards. Um, I got this funky thing where, nope, it ain't even funky. I'm learning how to um, <laughs> speak positively when it comes to resources and funds, you know, because I grew up yes. just penny pinching, just Wait, don't. Scarcity. Yes. Yeah. And I tell yes. myself yeah. that every yeah. morning, girl, money chases you down. It finds you. Like, what do you worry? It's a resource. Yes. It's a resource, you know? Yes. And so when I hear myself, though, something in me is like, let's go. Let's go, girl. You got this, yes. you know? <laughs> <laughs> so it's really important to to use your voice out loud and hear it. And even if it's uncomfortable, keep doing it until, you know, you start liking the sound of your own voice and you start to, you know, the yeah. doubt begins to to fade and you're like, okay, this, this is the route we go in, you know? Isn't Maybe that part that's... of like the theory of multiple intelligences or something? I mean, mm. when you study, there's reading yes. and there's hearing and there's speaking and hearing your own voice and there's yep. doing and I forget what, you know, who are absolutely saying it out loud. I was part of a ministry and, and one of the steps in the, in a, it was a long weekend, three day, three day retreat thing. And one of the activities after they've been there a day or two is to Take your group, you know, you sit in tables and the group leader, you go off and you and you 
take turns passing a cross around a group and everybody prays mm. out loud. You can, you can, you can not do it, but you give everybody an opportunity to pray in a small yeah. group where they know out loud. Not <laughs> I know. That, that, that not so think much of anymore, but I still am like, don't say anything stupid. <laughs> but, after, but after but after a couple of days, you'll you know you'll yeah. learn and you listen to other people and you'll learn there's nothing wrong to say. Don't fake yeah. it. Just just be quiet and speak what's yeah. in your heart. And everybody goes, yeah, you know that's the thing and. And uh, it's good absolutely. practice. It's an opening, ice breaking kind it of thing. It is. It absolutely is. You know, it's good to hear it your is. Voice. And, and it's like, you know, uh, I'll go back to, so my, my background is broadcast journalism. And so years ago, I would hate being on camera. I hated the sound of my voice and things like that. And yeah, uh, you know, yeah, it wasn't yeah. until I kept listening that I was like, Girl, there ain't nothing wrong with your voice. Like, there's nothing wrong with you. Yeah. You were okay. You were good, you know? And it's, yes. it's, it's a part of that self-love and healing, Jen, that you were talking about yeah. is, is healing yeah. all the way yeah. through it. So, yeah, I think the power of language, um, hearing yourself say it, and to that point, hearing um, your parents say it. My parents are amazing, but there are still some things that I would have loved my mama to mm-hmm. say or to my you know what I'm saying my dad said yes. a whole lot but yes. there were things that I, I would you know my dad was <laughs> always like he was he's gonna tell me I'm uh, you daddy's baby girl you were smart yes you can you know and not that my mom didn't but she grew up different you know she she grew up different yeah he was, a very he was yeah kid. and so even to that point of taking things that maybe as a child I wish I had and being able to be intentional yeah. um with with my with my boys and make sure I say those things. I'll have That's to work like on the... that because I I didn't grow up with that, but my girlfriend needs it, and mm, I need to practice yeah. that better. Being you know letting it yeah. out of your mouth, even if you think it, you know, being a little more uh, explicit Absolutely. about it. That's like the the that concept of like looking back at my childhood and what I wish I had. And then becoming that thing yourself for your children and like, and not, not in the spirit of, I wish my parents would have, you know, like there's like these six Christmas presents that I didn't get. My wishes didn't come true. Not, not in that sense of like, I'm going to buy my kids everything and spoil them and all that, (laughs) but like giving them the things or overcompensating in like a permissive Mm -hmm. way where we don't have any boundaries or any rules or any, you know, there can, it can be misconstrued, um, in so many ways, but giving your, your kids, like with what we know now with so much research, um, and so many books and so much access to information now with what we know now, how to be better, to do it better. What I wish I'd had when I was a kid, because you, everybody has those moments that you can look back on in your memory bank, whether you were three, five, 10, 15, that you were, that you have a specific memory with a parent Mm. or another adult who absolutely crushed you. That's so true. Yeah, something stuff sticks does. trauma it does oh and that is so good to transform that to look back and go in that moment i needed this i needed to be responded to this yeah. way and mm-hmm. going okay how do i cultivate that in yes. myself in my ability to respond to yeah. an upset teenager who is running their mouth yeah. like can you look past behavior can you look into that child and go, what does this child need Mm. right now? What need is not being met and how can I respond to that lovingly? I love that. Um, Jen, girl, you are, you are something else. I mean, you hit the core of me like, yes. I'm going to call you every day because you're my (laughs) new cheerleader. That's right. Man, she, like for real, like (laughs) something that you said really struck a chord in regards to we all have that person or that individual, whether it's a teacher, whether it's that has said something that you remember that struck a chord Mm -hmm. and it did something to you. I read this um, journal of a a guy who was talking about the power words. And he said, we come into the world an empty canvas and we allow words to paint us. 
And as it's being painted, that portrait is depending on what's being said. You know what I mean? And I thought, dang, that is so real. I can remember even what teachers have said. Actually, um, in June, I'm going to be speaking to a group of librarians just sharing this specific aspect of like, you know, what you say to these. It doesn't have to just be your child. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the thing. It's not just your child. It is children. What you say to these babies matter. Like, we all can remember a time where we felt embarrassed, we felt ashamed, or a teacher made you feel some type of way. You know what I mean? So just taking time, and my boys are three and one, but once they hit teenage age, I'm going to call you, Jen, and get some help. Yes. (laughs) Because I don't know if I'm ready yet. (laughs) I'm getting ready. So, yeah, (laughs) I know that there's just different levels to it. Yeah. And there's, I always try to, to remind parents, no matter how old your kids are, like whether they're infants or teenagers or anything in between, the rules are the same, like the same concepts apply. So the way that you speak to your six month old when they're screaming because you're changing their diaper is the same response you're going to give your teenager Mm. who's bitching at you about curfew. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Right. So the rules, the rules are the same. Like the, the, and, and it, it applies to, to adults yeah. too. Like you can apply everything that's, it's emotional intelligence yeah. is what I'm teaching. Yeah. It's relationship skills, how to respond to someone in distress, how to respond to negative emotions, how to integrate and be capable of holding space for like the, the full reality of being Absolutely. human. And and how to give empathy instead of fixing something, how to, you know, and with kids, it's how to, how to bring them in and collaborate with mm. problem solving instead of punishment. Yeah. And the, the concepts are the same, no matter how old you are, like as a human being, the connection that we need is the same, no matter, our, no matter our I age. Um, yeah. yeah. From a more yeah. linear side, I, I think of it as it being like fractal or, uh, or a scalable, skill where you know if you when they're they're young or they're yeah. old you know the the curve is the same the principles yeah. that you're dealing with you know empathy uh dealing with the emotions you know it's the same kind of thing so then it's that's a skill that translates to ages people it. different different relationships you know these are good these are good skills this girl is yeah up with here absolutely they really are and i'll say this too to that point is I think, um, because you're talking about the punishment side of it, that for Mm -hmm. me is what I'm learning even with a three-year-old who flips out because, like you were saying, because the cup is green and he wants the blue one. And so you give him the blue one, but no, I don't want the blue either, so I'm going to just fall out. You know what I mean? Well, he wants his Yes. (laughs) Yes. So even to that point, I'll say that is where, for me, the intentional speech comes in. Where I have to, instead of, Mm. Ellis, sit down and be quiet. You know, instead of that, it's like, (laughs) Ellis, you know, are you having, what is wrong? Talk to mommy. Use your words. What's wrong? You know, what's wrong? Okay. Well, let's take a minute. And there are times where I'm like, you know what? Let's have a seat. We're going to calm down. And when you're ready to use your words, you come talk to mama. You know what I mean? But even in those moments, that's where I'm now learning, where I'm like, He's three years old. You can't find a three-year-old. Just calm down. Let's see what's wrong right. with him. And we'll, That's you know. Right. So, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And it's that. Flip star. All right. All right. This is, you know, I mean, you, you, you can't react with a lot of time to everything. Yeah. But when you get in a situation and you realize, okay, something's yeah. up here. Let, let's sit down for a minute. Let's that. take a minute. Let's figure this yeah. one out. And that pays such huge dividends Absolutely. long long term. You know, that ability to pull yourself out of, I got to get yeah, to church on that, time yeah. instead of three minutes late uh, or whatever it is. You know, parenting is so busy and so it dynamic is. and so hard. That skill of, yeah. wait a second, little bubble of peace here. Oh, and, I like that. Okay, now we can move on. And that's all it takes. <laughs> Y'all you know? be dropping gems. I'm taking that one too. Bubble of peace. Oh, really? Bubble of peace. Yes. Okay. I'm going to use that with my boys. You know what? Let's step into the pool right. of peace. That's beautiful. I need to talk to you every morning too. Love it, right? She's our hype girl. 
<laughs> and there's and I also like I I teach I want to say this and then I want to get us I want to get us back on track with um your yeah. story Megan um but uh a lot of times addressing their emotion and using connection instead of demands or rushing through something because we don't have time a literal one phrase of connection mm. of connection will actually save you so much wow. time yeah, yeah. long term versus a tantrum yeah. falling apart complete oblivion of like i i am lost in yeah. the chaos if you can if you can see your child's upset and go that's so frustrating you didn't get the cup that you wanted let's go get a different cup that like that like acknowledgement yeah. of what they're feeling in that yeah. moment they'll just be like, Oh, it is frustrating. Yeah. Like, and they can't say this to you, but like, like being seen, <laughs> being so seen yeah. is, yeah. is that's all they yeah. want. That's all they need. That's all anybody that's, wants is to be witnessed. Yes. That's the root it cause. Is. That's, that's really what you, you know, the thing is never about the, the, the upset is never about the thing. The right, thing. Right. Yeah. You know, a lot of times, right. It's about something Absolutely. else. And so that yeah. connection is that's super good. fun. Then. Yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, Megan, I want to make sure we, this has been such a great conversation, but I want to make sure that we are getting like all of your stuff on here because you, everything oh you do God. is just so exciting. That's why you, I like the notes. It's like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I know. Be a couple of, like a list otherwise of things. I just get to We're talk chatting. and I never get an answer. Yeah. Point. <laughs> I know. So you've so you've started a kids brand of clothing, um, and when you and I were talking, we talked about the power of raising children from the inside yeah. out, and your clothing brand. You know, with each order, and correct me if this no, isn't right. accurate right. anymore. Mm-hmm. But with each order, you get one of the culture yep. cards. Um, or they're also available to purchase as a 52 card deck. Correct. You can purchase the whole deck. Yeah. Um, and it? so it's. Did I miss something? Oh, I'm no, that's okay. So it's at uh, kclothier.com. So it's on our website where you can get cool. a deck of cards. It's 52. So one for each week. Uh, me and my son, we pull one every week. You know, the one that I like to always talk about is. Um, oh, now we've got okay. a biblically based one. That's the one that I love. Like a little, yeah. Lesson. yeah a little and we do, we pull thing, it kinda. and okay. you know, I'll say, I am, he says, God's best. I say, I am. He says, God's best, you know, and it's become a repetition <laughs> and he knows on Sunday it's time to pull a, a card. You know, he's like, let, but now yeah. he's like, I am God's best. I said, no, we got a new one. We got a new one. You are God's best. <laughs> but let's get a new one. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, with, with each, um, drop, right. we, we have a, a card that goes into each drop, but then you can also buy the okay. deck. And so we've got a biblically based deck. And then now we've got a words or magic deck and the words or magic deck mm. is based on principles from the book. So it's mostly about speech and mm-hmm. words and the biblical deck was That's just true. because is who I am. Right. So I was like, this yeah. is an yeah. easy way to teach um, Ellis and Ezra to say what God says bite size and so uh-huh. of course it's paraphrased and things yeah. like that start real yeah. young yeah. yeah absolutely i love it though uh, i yeah. love it uh, yeah get all these make sure we get all these links <laughs> in the in the, oh, yeah. in the social yeah. media out there everything yeah, will be linked awesome. in the show notes and then cool. yeah it'll be so you've got so you've got the kid clothier you've got with the affirmation cards the culture cards which you have two decks yeah. now so everybody should order the book yes. the book words are magic and you the words are folks. magic card yes. deck um or the culture yeah. cards that are what christian based so yeah, bible based the, the culture cards are bible based it'll say on there too that these are biblically based and then there's a words or magic deck culture card deck but we're selling that as a bundle too so we've got the words or magic book and the deck um and we're yeah. actually for those who pre-ordered and pre-order actually will end by the time this airs but um we're okay. selecting five people at random to receive a deck of cards so we'll see who that is and so I'm excited to be able to. <laughs> ooh, ooh, 
Ooh. Random. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. You cannot have one now. You know that, right? Yeah. You are yeah. You, are yeah. you don't know. You don't know. Family, family and friends may not I win think that's on fair. I think that's fair, Papa Rick. Um, so, yeah, we, we've got those two. And, you know, things are just moving fast. I mean, because we talked um, a, yeah. a month ago. Has it been a month? Maybe. I think it's been a little, maybe even a little more because we did the whole, I talked to you in like February. Okay. A lot has just happened since then. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, You are like, you are on a train, man. You were just like, it's going so fast. Like I said, it's growing legs. Um, The partnerships have been beautiful. Uh, Working to just connect with these, um, the local hospital the children's i think for me that one alone and i'm in the process book touring book touring and the kids are yes. so excited like they love it we yeah. turned it into this little jingle and i'll have them like clap it up clap it up and i will say uh, i say what i have i say what i have and i have what i say and i have what i say i have just what i need uh, i just what I need nice. to find my way oh my so God. it's turned into this little Girl. jingle and wow. by the time we read it, the kids are like, I say what I have, I have what I say. You know, they're amped up. <laughs> yeah. And so it's it's so oh. fun. Man, who who would have thought like my life's purpose would be tied to speaking life into the next generation? Like I would have never yeah. in my yeah. life thought that ever, you know, but yeah. here yeah. we are. And it feels great. Well, you're also in the corporate world, right? You know, you're like cubicles and offices and doors and meetings and conference tables and stuff. And this is just another Another avenue. So I work (laughs) actually for Gap Inc. My nine to five is a change manager. Um, And so I help individuals, which is interesting because it all correlates, but I help individuals um, adapt to change. So it's more the people yeah. side of change and not the org side of change. So helping it yeah. one yeah. person at a time, which is so naturally, you know, ebbs and flows into this line of work. You know what I mean? Yes, So, it does. yeah, I am spinning my wheels in a beautiful way. And, um, right. Do you sleep? Are you okay? <laughs> you know what? It is such a great question. Am I okay? Most days, <sighs> most days. <laughs> Most days, yes. There are some days where I'm like, I can't do it today. I got, I, I just physically yeah. cannot do it today. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Living and the dream, awesome. living the dream, doing what you love, and oh, by the way, the and the money that will part, come, right? Yeah, the money is coming. Kind it's it, it's in route. Yeah. Absolutely, yes, yes. Do something yeah. you enjoy, and then you don't have to worry about the that treasury. Part, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I'm like, I'm really working with the energies ever since I've kind of ever since that, that post, my COVID post, um, I've been diving really deep into a lot of, um, mindset work and just kind of getting back on track after being sick for so long yeah. anyway. And, um, Pivot. Pivot. I I like that. It. yeah. And they're in like, I was saying in the last episode, like I've done mindset work for a decade now and I've, you know, all the healing and all the therapy and yoga and, and all of the things, all the spiritual journey breakthrough things. And so I have, I like, I have it in me. Um, but sometimes we all fall back down the mountain, right. Or we step off the path or whatever. And I don't, I don't, I think it just uh, got deprioritized and Mm -hmm. I've been so focused on the hustle and building a business and just lost in the thought of creating um, and the, the momentum that occurs once you start something and then it's like, so many things need your attention all of the time, 24 seven. And how do you prioritize and time manage? And, you know, so like just all of the spiritual practices, the mindset, the like waking up and, um, I see your, your stories and you post, um, from your devotional book, um, and whatnot and just getting, so it's been on my mind a lot to, get back into a morning practice where I wake up and like really set my intentions for the day and find my joy and my excitement versus my to-do list and my stress. And when you approach life 
whether it's the words that you speak, speaking life. Um, I call it speaking love yeah. over fear. So are mm. you are you approaching things through love? Are you approaching things through fear? Um, money mindset with scarcity versus abundance, same thing. Like, like what are you putting out into the world? And that's where that, that, the money is chasing yeah. me. The money's coming. Yeah. It's coming. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I just have to keep following that, that heart compass. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. and uh, which is, also it in the book. Um, I love that part. <laughs> I love oh, that part. Right. That's, I was right. like, ah. that's something I've always talked about is like, follow your heart, follow your heart, yeah. follow your heart. Um, where, where was I going with this? That concept of, Oh, the money is coming. Um, the money is chasing me that belief to, to have the faith and know like, like you're not going to be homeless. You're not going to like the worst thing that's going to happen to you is that it's not going to work and you're going to pick something right, else. Right. Right. Unless you make some seriously heavy, ridiculous, outrageous life altering yeah. changes, choices, yeah. you know, like in general, like you are, you are following your heart. You're putting good out into the world. Um, like the money is going to find and, you. And, and that's uh, the thing with, with, even with money, Jen and, and Papa Rick, like it is a resource. Like that's it. I think we give yeah. it so much power. And when yes. we do that, it, it's, it, 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 it's like a repellent, you know what I mean? And yeah. it's, it's, it's yeah. a resource. And naturally, like you were yeah. saying, um, back to being intentional with your mornings, you know, that is something that, um, I was doing a lot before I had kids, I had kids and I just fell off and I was mm-hmm. off my game. And I'm like, yeah. I, the days it's were just long and they were just all over. And Back in July of last year, I made the intention, you're getting up every morning and you're going to do your devotion and you're going to do your journaling yeah. and you're going to, I have this like um, music, it's just instrumental that plays as I journal mm-hmm. and I start doing my confessions and I'm like, you know, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. And some days are just really tough because you just wake up sometimes and it's just mm-hmm. funky. And I literally started mm-hmm. telling myself and telling the Lord, I'm not leaving this post until there's a shift in my mood because I need the day to be, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be perfect, Mm. but we got to, you got to create a shift and I'm not leaving here until we do. And that's great. You're not, you're not saying, okay, I'm going to spend eight minutes at this. You're like, there's like, you're, you're internally, we've talked about that. Jenny and I have talked about that before about your, it's an internal flag you're waiting for. Okay. Mm. I I have a feeling. And now it's time. That's to exactly go it. Forward. And you know, um, to yeah. Jenny's point, when you were talking about being intentional, it's very interesting because my friend and I were talking this weekend, actually. And you know, I am a big believer in therapy, a big believer in you know um, having not just a therapist, but even a business coach, and especially with this entrepreneurial yes. journey. You know what I mean? And she and I were talking about, um, you know, she was like, I, I really, you know, think you should look into getting a therapist, just someone to talk to. It doesn't always mean something is gravely wrong, you know, but yes. as you are, I, I just posted it, oh, about really, this It's too. so real. It's yeah. like, as you yeah. are becoming, and you think of entrepreneurship and how fast, even like with this book, it's going so quickly, you are becoming a yeah. different person. And I'm learning who this person is. And as I'm learning who she is, she's changing into someone else. And it's moving so fast that you really do need someone to say, look, I just need to talk this out. I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an author. Now I'm a mama of two boys. I lead worship at church. I'm a wife. I have a corporate job. Like who am I? Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, girl, you, yeah. Good Lord. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So you really <laughs> do need that um, ability to be able to just talk to someone. So come Monday morning, yeah. it is on my to-do list to go and find me a therapist. Yeah. And I told my friends six months is what I'm committing to six months yeah. of every week. We're going to do, right. we're going to do the work, the me work. Not like two or three, yes. not like two or three get togethers. Right. It's like, yeah, we got to give this yeah. a chance, you know, and you might have to find more than one. You, Absolutely. Don't, just, you don't just go to one. You got to hit it off with somebody just like Absolutely. a friend. People, 
people jump, people think of, uh, you know, there's so much negative, uh, uh, can't think of the word I'm I'm looking for that you're broken when yeah. you go, you know, you can't fix yourself. And it's like, no, no, no. It's more like you want to tune up your golf swing. Yeah. I mean, you got where you are, you're fine, but you can't fix your own golf yeah. swing. Somebody else has to look broken. at yes. your golf swing, right? And say, no, you're you're moving your hips yeah. too quick or something. Thanks. Yeah. You know, it's just somebody to yeah. talk to about stuff and give you an insight. You could spend a hundred years trying to fix your own yeah. golf swing by yourself, or you can do it in a in a couple hour yeah, lesson, really quick, <laughs> with somebody else watching you. You you struggle as you want. Not everybody's prepared to grow and and move yeah. on, and you know to be an entrepreneur, you yeah, got to be a do. learner. You got to be re- you got to be flexible and agile yeah. and all that, and uh, not in the software development methodology <laughs> uh, meaning, and and. It's not for everybody. You got to yeah. grow into that, like we were talking about yeah. before. All this stuff, it just, uh, I think in pictures and lines, and it's like, oh my God, all this stuff is just coming yeah. together here. But it's uh, what you're saying is all is all true, man. You got to, you got to be ready to go. When Absolutely. It hits. Absolutely. Yeah. Have y'all really fast? Have y'all heard that book called Who, Not How? Have y'all ever read that book? I am reading it now and it is life changing, like for real, for real. And it talks about kind of what we're talking about, like not necessarily therapy, but like the issue or the problem that we continue to face with entrepreneurship and um, just all of this really Mm -hmm. encompassing is we're looking for the how, how do I do this? How do I do that? Instead of saying who, who is the individual that's going to help make this happen go ask yeah. for help go yeah that's a horrible help. i'm horrible at and it, that. It, but it, it 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 literally will catapult you leaps and bounds yeah. faster you know yeah. so to jenny's point yeah. uh don't wait yep. until you're wounded or broke down do it ahead of time like yeah, yeah. yeah. don't don't yeah. wait till the check engine light that is part. on and exactly. your brakes, then your brakes don't work right. like you need to go every six months and get a yes. tune-up and like shameless plug hire that's a funny. coach yeah. Like, <laughs> hello, yeah. Hey, let's not. Uh, be, we're being authentic here. We're not. Yeah. We're not doing this just as yeah. a hobby. You know, we're we're hoping to help the yeah. world and see what comes. See Absolutely. what comes of it. Well, it's funny me. that the exact that's same me. thing popped yeah. into my head. Serving. I know. As you were talking, I was Ch- like, I, I was Ch- like, my oil. my favorite sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we. But um. Oh gosh, talking about um oh, I lost it. You're going to therapy. Right. You oh, integrating. So when especially when life gets really yeah. fast or even if life isn't that crazy, there's so when when children, when anyone experiences something emotionally traumatic yeah. or mm-hmm or emotion, like deeply emotional, the way that it gets processed, if you have children or if you've taken care of children um, and, and witnessed this, um, when something traumatic happens to a small child, the way that they process that and integrate that experience and heal mm-hmm. from it is by playing it out in story mm-hmm. form. Mm-hmm. So they, t- they retell. So I've, I've taken care of children for 20 years and with one of my nanny families, um, one of the children had a uh, sit, uh, seizure. Mm. I was I was deciding how much I should tell, but I'm not going to say names or anything, so it doesn't matter. Had a seizure at school, um, but it didn't look like a, a seizure. It looked like him like fainting okay. almost from like heat exhaustion. And yeah, he was very yeah. low. He was three, oh. and. Um, and I went to pick him up from preschool and the teacher was like, you know, he's, he seems like really exhausted, really fatigued, you know, something kind of weird is going on. And he hadn't collapsed yet. But when, when I got there, he collapsed on oh me. Uh-huh. And it, I mean, he was like, he was barely conscious. He like, it was, t- and it was terrifying because not only is yeah. this a child in distress, this is someone else's child that I'm responsible mm, yeah. for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my whole body just went into like mommy yeah. hyper focused mode. And I swooped him and I swooped his sister and I got to the car and I called the dad cause I, cause I knew mom was at work. And so, and she's a doctor, so she wasn't able, I knew she wasn't going to yeah. be able to um, answer. So I called dad and he was like, you know, get him to the 
ER. I was like, do you want me to call 911 or get to the yeah. ER? Because he's not like he's breathing. Which he's one do you think is like faster? Because him. I was also I was in an area that was pretty close to several hospitals. And so anyway, he ended up in the back of an ambulance and he was, you know, barely aware seemingly of a lot of things and then ended up in the hospital and all the things. And he's completely fine, completely normal. Um, apparently there's like things that happen to small children sometimes that can cause random seizures mm. that have nothing to do with a disease. So weird. So anyway, um, huh. but moving forward after the first couple of weeks of him being kind of like extra clingy and needy and like really needing that connection and comfort of, I just had this awful experience. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. He then started in his play with his sister um, or with me, he would start to build fire engines and ambulances out oh of boy, couch time. cushions wow. um, yeah, and couches yeah, yeah. or other toys. And he would build an ambulance and then he would make his sister or me, but usually it was his little sister, um, lay down in the back of the fire truck or in the back of the wow. ambulance. He would act and it then, out. Uh, but if you asked him, he had no memory of this thing occurring. Wow. Yeah. But he would play it out in his play and he would literally, I would sit there and listen and watch him play yeah. it out with his sister and do th- no like pretend like he was sticking yeah. things on her hmm. and like pr- like do things to her that mimicked what a uh, EMT wow. does to you in the back of an That's ambulance. Wild. And more evidence that kids record everything, everything that goes on around them. That subconscious the mind matter. is 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 what's yeah. Yes. yeah. Well, and so when adults go to therapy. We're storytelling. Mm -hmm. We're having an experience. And whether it's good or bad or somewhere in between, we go to therapy. And that is our time. That is our unobstructed, like, only there's no reciprocation. It's Mm -hmm. like I get to be, I get to tell my story and be seen and witnessed and not judged. And there's no, like emotional mm-hmm. responsibility with the other person. Yeah. It's just me and my story and getting undiluted support. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And getting to talk it out loud. And so this with you, Megan, going life is going so fast right now and there's so many moving pieces. Going to therapy right. is it's it's just it's gonna be this like magical way for you to integrate and fully yeah. feel everything. Yeah. Cause everything is so going so fast right now and like having that space and that time even even if it's just one hour yeah. a week to go integrate everything into your body and and it gets to become part of you and mm-hmm. you get to step forward as a fully integrated human yeah. being who knows who she is and knows what she's doing and and yeah. you, like you can navigate life differently yeah with that to that point I think too what I love is the revealing piece of therapy so like you get in there and you know it's like an onion with layers you start pulling back these Mm -hmm. layers and you're like dang like I didn't even know that was still up in there I didn't yeah you know, right. oh that's why yeah. like oh my god where yeah. did come from? <laughs> that's why i talk to my son this way or that's why i react this yeah. way like you know so yeah. it's 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 so interesting all of this because it's so wrapped into one you know with your own yes. mental yeah. health um you got to be the best you so that you can be the best yes. version of you for your children and and the likes yes. so yeah yes yeah. Full, full, circle. Kind of yes. full circle yes yes <laughs> for real for real i took a class um um peter scazzaro uh, uh emotionally healthy relationships and discovered a, a tool i'd never seen mm-hmm. before it had to do with di- geno something or other it's about diagramming your family right again boxes it, it resonated with me it's boxes and arrows and then different kinds of lines like this is my this was this relation this relationship was like that mm. and that was like that you know <clears throat> and i and i remember doing therapy after my brother died i got i got super mm. depressed after my 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 replacement father died my older brother kind of took that over and messed me up when he died unexpectedly and just it, like you're talking about sitting there talking with a therapist it was like cognitive behavioral therapy and so you're thinking it through and and having exactly that kind of reaction yeah. to oh that's where mm-hmm. that you know why do you think that way why do you feel that way and going 
Yeah. Oh, that's where yeah. that comes yeah. from. You know, where yeah. you don't come up with it on your own. It's like talking to a friend who's not only good at listening, but at coming back with, oh, what yeah. about this? You know, leading yeah. you a little mm-hmm. bit down. Hey, you're a human being. I don't know you. I don't know your life, but 90% of my clients, the, yeah. what, do you, what do you think about that? And helping you find the tender that spot. Part. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's where it hurts. Yep. Okay, thanks. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Ther- and therapists, like, I just, oh, I just want to draw this, um, draw this line for everybody. A therapist, they, I mean, they go through schooling, they go through, like, t- all kinds of training, et cetera. But the key for me in my experience with therapy, the key uh, talent of a therapist or the key characteristic in a therapist is curiosity. Mm-hmm. I wonder where that's coming yes. from. Yes, and it's not like yeah. how does that yeah. how does that make right. you feel? Like <laughs> if that's the only question your therapist asks yeah. you, that's not yeah. like a therapist. But yeah. a, but a therapist who knows how to ask the right mm-hmm. question so that you find the answer inside of yourself because the answer isn't the same for everybody. Um, and yes, there's exactly statistics right. and like 90% of people who have that thought also ha- experienced this type yeah. of trauma or whatever the statistic is, yeah. but that's, that is also a parenting characteristic. Yes. Yeah. Being able to approach your children with curiosity instead of making assumptions about what's happening yeah. for them. That's right. That's that is right. such a huge, and it's a huge piece of being a friend yes. of being a partner in marriage of being a good, a good sounding board for anyone that you love is instead of making assumptions or judgments about what someone's bringing you get curious. curious. Any kind of analytical pursuit that even, that even holds true with linear accounting. Where's the, where's the balance sheet off or computer programming? Why isn't that working or any kind of problem solving? You know, that involves right, we don't a, go, oh, the numbers are wrong. We yeah. go, my math is right. wrong. So instead of yeah. something's wrong with this person right. and making yeah. some kind of judgment, it's like, oh, maybe my my perception, my judgment, the story's in my head. Right. I'm going to put those aside and, mm-hmm. and ask some questions. Absolutely. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I, y'all I'm, got me in. That is a conflict part. skill. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it really is. I'm excited. All right, friends, there's a few. So I want to make sure, Megan, um, that let's see, we're going to put ever, all of your links in the show notes. Um, and we are also, you are offering a 10% off code for anyone who orders the book and uses the code relational parenting. Yes. So code. exciting. I am now a discount code. Cool. <laughs> yes. <Hey. laughs> making it, making yeah. it. Um, Part of the system. Part of the system. It. Right? So we have, so we'll have your, the clothing brand. We'll have the link to um, all the websites, all the things. Um, and then that discount code will also be up there for anyone to awesome. use. Um I just want to remind everybody that we do now have a Patreon. So head on over to that. So the five, the five dollar level is you get a shout out on the show. Um, so our shout out this week is my dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Papa Rick, let's go. Being our Papa Rick, uh, shout out. Thank you for supporting uh, our podcast. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure it works. I love it. I'm kind of semi technical. Um, it's like, is this all hooked up right? Okay, good. Right. And then the seven dollar tier is going to be a shout out as well as um I think like a blooper reel or, you know, uh, we'll put some extra access to extra anecdotal things in there. Um, and then the $11 tier is, um, is going to be like, we're going to, I'm going to start sending out merch, I think. So I'll have, you'll have access to the blooper reels. You'll have access first access to things like my membership. Once that is live, um, uh, which it's a wait list right now. So if you want to get on the wait nice. list for that, you can also go to the Patreon um, and get on the wait list for the membership. And yeah, we'll have blooper reels. We'll start Maybe doing we can, merch uh, boxes. Pass out for... culture cards Ooh. or a little book 
toast or some day. Yeah. Or, you know, all the guests, nice all the stuff that the guests, right? I love yeah. it. Yeah. We could do like a draw, like a drawing that would for, be awesome. we could, anyone who's in the $11 tier, go. we could Let put your name go. in a bucket, do, do drawing for merch from guests. Yes, I love that. Um, yeah. So head over to Patreon. Check that out. There's also going to be a link for it in the show notes. So just go to the show notes, click the link, and it'll take you right there. Um, yeah, Megan, is there are there is there like anything else that you want to say to? Anybody? I just want to say thank you both. I mean, this has been fun just to talk and hang out. Like, you know, it's not every day that you get to kick it with friends and their parent. Like, you know, and Papa Rick, you're you're <laughs> so cool. You know, so I'm I'm for real thank just. You. Grateful for the opportunity <laughs> and excited for where this show is going to go and where I know that I'm headed. Like, it's up. It's up, you know? Yeah. And, and so I'm excited to be going on the journey with y'all, you know? A year from right. now, we're going to be like, wow, do you remember when, you know? So right? I'm excited. We'll have to yeah. like, we'll bring you back. Yeah. We'll bring you back, like, next April and be like, what's happening Yes, now? yeah. So it's, yeah. it's been great. What's yeah. new? What's, oh, my God. I can't even imagine. I'm excited. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm just grateful. Thank you, guys. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Miss MJ Official, and... Um, well, yeah. And, and like, uh, Jen was saying, I am very authentic. So for the most part, you get positive yeah. Megan. Cause that's usually where I'm at, but there are some times where, yeah. you know, you, you get, you get Megan, you know? And so it is what it right. is. So that's educational yes. too. That's, you know, that's a Absolutely. good thing. So yeah, I'm, I'm grateful and thank you guys so much. Words of magic, relational parenting, uh, code for 10%. Love it. Thank, Thank you, you Megan. Guys. You are like, you're so uplifting and your words are life giving. Awesome. I'm so, glad to know. Nice. So powerful. Thank you yeah. both so much. Appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. Cool. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>